Motherwell had failed to score in their three previous games against Celtic this season. Four points is now the gap to Aberdeen in second. Sure, McCall's side could do with a victory. Oh, Ambrose has misjudged that. It's John Sutton, it's gone through Fraser Forster. What a start for Motherwell and John Sutton. Fraser Forster beaten by the pace, he got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. John Sutton strikes early. It's his 20th goal of the season. And it is a big one. Ambrose misjudging the aerial ball, then Sutton strikes it. Here's Van Dyke. Now Kyle. Kyle tangling himself in knots there. Vigers onto it in a flash. Anier's away. Henry Anier bearing down on goal. Ambrose gets across. Still Anier. And Ambrose did a very good job of blocking out the Estonian. What was Kyle playing at there? Vigers started off the break. Perfect pass. Anier couldn't finish it off, but Ambrose did very well. Virgil van Dijk. Now Stokes, who's dropped a little deeper. Nice interchange with Johansson. Stokes turns back and is brought down. Craig Thompson points at the penalty spot. Stokes going down under the challenge of Ian Vigers. An easy decision for Craig Thompson, who was going away from goal. It was a needless challenge. Chris Commons, 27 goals so far this season. To make it 28, but it is a fine save by Gunnar Nielsen. It's a well-struck penalty. But Gunnar Nielsen at full stretch, a firm left hand behind it. And he denies Chris Commons. Johansson cutting across the ball. Lovely pass out to Samaras. Good ball through too for Stokes. And a crucial interception there by Stephen Hamill. Lovely ball by Samaras. Stokes onto it, and Hamill had to deal with that, or else Chris Commons had a tap-in for the equaliser. <laughs> Hamill, first time forward, Van Dijk's lost it, it's Anier again, this time Zane Francis and goal! 2-0 Motherwell, a minute before half-time, a rather hopeful ball forward, and again the Celtic back four couldn't deal with it. It's Zane Francis Angle with his third goal for Motherwell, who leads 2 0. Celtic really need to respond before the break. Brown nicely back to Stokes. Anthony Stokes goes for it and gets one back for Celtic. Brilliantly taken. Lovely touch by Scott Brown. Stokes turning back onto his right foot. Some may argue it was a cross. I'm sure Anthony Stokes will deny that. It's a magnificent finish for a man who is bang in form. Five goals in his last five games. Vigers. And met by Kerr. And off the line by Biram Kayal. Motherwell so nearly restoring their two-goal lead. Commons winding one up. McManus away, only as far as Stokes. Samaras with the touch! Nielsen helpless, and Samaras draws Celtic level. McManus didn't get enough on the header clear. Stokes with the volley. And Samaras scores in successive games, just diverting Stokes' volley. 
nothing the goalkeeper could do about it. Now Celtic pushing forward, looking for the goal to go in front, and Van Dijk nominated as a PFA Scotland Player of the Year this week. Heading just wide of the target, he has had an excellent debut season in Scotland. One back by Scott Brown. Here goes Stokes, he's got Brown left, Commons right. Commons coming in field, teed up for Scott Brown. Gunnar Nielsen, again the barrier between Celtic and the lead. Figers gives the signal, it's all the way through. Forster just about keeping the ball out. Right on top of the England international. Had to deal with it, saw it late. Samaras, Chris Commons takes over the situation. Commons out to Scott Brown. Balde is in there. Commons! Well, it's just not been his day. Five of his 27 goals this season have come in the three previous matches against Motherwell. Long it goes, looking for Sutton instead, Anier. Comes back to the Estonian and flicked wide by Fraser Forster. Well, Stuart McCall's side are certainly not hanging on for the draw. They're looking for the three points. Anier couldn't score for the first time at Fir Park since December. Brown to Van Dyke. Stokes, oh, it's going to go all the way through to Griffiths! They're in front now! The comeback is complete! Substitute Lee Griffiths in the headlines for all the right reasons now. What a fine finish. Stokes had the ball nicked off him by Vigers, but it just took it into the path of Lee Griffiths. And didn't he finish it well? Celtic lead 3-2. Craig Reed. Ainsworth gives him the run. What a ball. Ainsworth for Sutton. High drama at Fir Park. What a finish. What a game it has been. Ainsworth across. Sutton was onside. And he picks up his second goal of the game. His 21st of the season. It has been a quite incredible 90 minutes in Lanarkshire. Subscribe now for free and catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.